question FaceTime with Jose Gomez. I should say 2022 Eclipse Apprentice Jose Gomez. Jose, how's it going? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for having me on. Of course. So uh, let's start right away. I, I, I have to ask you, this is, this is amazing to me where you've been in the last year. Talk to me about your first year of riding and what it's been like in New York and the success that you've had. Well, my first year as in the, with riding, it was it was great. You know, I was um, luckily I was connected to the right people and uh, I got an opportunity. And I'm just glad, glad to get the opportunity. You know, and um, it was it was uh, I I couldn't be happier. I couldn't. I mean, I'm just very grateful. Twelve percent win percentage, thirty six percent in the money. Were were these the goals? What were your goals when you started out last January? Did you have any goals, or was it just that, get out there and ride? Yeah, just get out there and ride. I mean, hopefully, you know, in the future, you know, I am able to, you know, get better. You know, just, you know, progress. You know, progress through, you know, just get better. In that right. New York, in that New York jockeys room, what is it like? I'm sure you looked up to some of these guys as you've been wanting to become a jockey. What was it like being in a room with an Irad Ortiz, a Johnny V, a Castellano? I mean, some of the greatest that have ever done it. I mean, you just you're just in awe, you know. You just you want to, you know, act like you know. You have to act like you know. You know, you ride with them, so you know you can't, you know, be all like, oh, this and that, you know, like you want to be. But it's definitely, definitely, it's a dream come true, you know. These guys. I watched all these guys, you know, growing up. It's it's crazy. It's a good feeling. So, on that note, what made you become a jockey? Tell me the story. What is the Jose Gomez story, and how did it progress to end you up at landing you in New York? I mean, I just always, since a little kid, I've wanted to ride. My 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 dad was an exercise rider. He he rode a couple races. I mean, I, I and everybody everybody in my family has just worked with horses. It's something. It's the one thing I've always known, I started working very young, you know, just around the farms and like on the tracks and stuff. And I was just always in love with the horses, you know, being around them. And that's just was my goal since little kid, just be a jockey when I ride races. So I've had jockeys on before and we've spoken about this and it seems to be the consensus. Dad said, go for it, be a jockey. Mom said, no way, it's too dangerous. Was there any friction between your parents when you decided, you know, I'm, I'm going to become a jockey? And was there anything that they said you have to do before you can make that step forward? Yeah, uh, well, I grew up with just my mom. So my mom was, she always encouraged me to go to the school, go to college, be like a lawyer or something, you know. Uh, she didn't want me to do this, you know. And, but when she started seeing how, like, how persistent I was, like, about wanting to ride, wanting to ride, she told me, okay, at least graduate high school. Just do that, at least, please. I'm like, graduate high school, you know. After that, you know, just started, started um, galloping horses. Galloping horses, you know, like, fully, you know, starting to really, you know, go for it. And started in Ocala, then from Ocala went to New Jersey. New Jersey, you know, started galloping for some people, ended up with Kelly Breen. And Kelly Breen, from that year, went down to Florida, back up to Monmouth. And then he just hooked me up with Angel. And that's how I got to New York, because, you know, he always has that barn up there. He sent me sent me to, to work, work a couple horses, work a couple horses in the morning. And Angel was there, you know. And that's how we... That's how it started. Well, that's a great in lead into my third question, which is Angel Cordero Jr. I mean, one of the greatest jockeys that, that's been around, uh, has been an agent now for a number of jockeys, and those jockeys have had immense success. So talk to me about what it's like working with him on a day-to-day -day basis. I, I've seen you guys in the golf cart at, uh, at, at Saratoga, and it seems like he's, he's always coaching you, and you guys have such a, a tight relationship about moving forward and him giving you – pointers and, and, and hooking you up with I know you ride for Rudy a lot and there's a good relationship there tell me a little about what it's like working with Angel well of course you know besides him being my agent you know he's a great great mentor great great teacher uh, yeah he's always he always lets me know um, you know what what I can what I, what I can improve on you know he just he wants me to become better you know just be good and it's, uh, you know, I'm very grateful for him. Uh, 
you know, you know, try to help me out. You know, Angel's also worked with you uh, on not just staying in New York. Uh, you're a hustler. I know you're, you're driving down to Pennsylvania and constantly moving. Is that was that your whole plan as, as when you did have the bug? I know you just recently lost it. Was to ride as much as you can wherever you can. Yeah, I mean, really, like I said, uh, Kelly really he was the one that helped me really hook to get started, and he was he's one a person that really encouraged me to do that. And but yeah, I mean, just to try to stay busy, make the most of. Oh, you know, the moment, you know, guy, if I got, you know, momentum, you know, just try to keep doing, keep going, keep going forward. I love it. I love it. Um, my next question for you is really about you. Your career is just starting and it's just blooming. I think you have a little over 1,500 starts um, in your career so far. Uh, all the winners are great ones. Uh, some of the losers are still great horses. What is the horse where you were like, I made it? I actually am a jockey in one of the best comp. What was that moment where that you finished that cross the finish line? And you said, "Wow, I made it. This is the best ride or my favorite ride I've ever had." One, I think, was Golden Rocket in Pensaratoga on the grass, for the stake race. Uh, for um, I think that that really that was one of those times where I was like, I said, "Whoa, whoa. I crossed why I said." Yeah, I did that, you know, like, whew, yeah. you know, like, you feel good, you know, you you want to win, it's always nice winning, but in Saratoga, in the stake race, you know, it's just, that's the top, you know, no better feeling, you know, as an apprentice too, I was, I'm like, wow. Yeah, it's definitely one of those for sure. I believe cool. I interviewed you right after that race too. I, yeah. I remember you had a, you had a smile going to ear to ear. And, and speaking of Saratoga, I have to talk about two rides you had up there for uh, the coach D Wayne Lucas. Talk to yeah. me about that experience because I, I remember you two standing there, and it was almost like you were you were getting coaching from a trainer. It was it was amazing to watch it as the young jockey there with the oldest trainer, and you you really were connecting. What's that relationship like, and what is it like to ride for a guy like that? He, he, you know, he's the coach, you know, he'll tell you what you, he'll tell you, you know, how it is, you know, uh, it was a great feeling, uh, you know, I was able to ride two horses for him, two, you know, two winners for him, I rode a couple more, and, um, yeah, it's funny because one, one time, he, uh, he, uh, he, um, I just think I think it's funny because I was just going to bring up that every time we're in a winner circle, he just brings, like, two kids, you know. He's, like, they're just standing there. He brings them in for the picture, and it's just some stuff like that, you know. And it's, it's cool, you know. He, he wants to bring kids into it, you know, get them involved, you know. So it's, it's, it's a nice feeling, you know. It's, it's something cool. Yeah, it's a tradition he's been doing forever at Saratoga, and it's great to see. And it's great to see you having the ability as an apprentice to ride for a guy like that. I'm, I'm sure you have having a great relationship with your agent that helps out. And, and D. Wayne, is, he is the coach. I mean, that's an amazing accomplishment. Yeah. Final question for you. You know, your career is young. You're a little over a year in. What are your the top three races that you want to win in your career? You know, what is if you had to set your goals today for your career, what are the three races you want to say, I won these three races? Oh man, you can't put me on the spot, man. Uh, I don't know. I guess for one, just to win a graded a graded stake, honestly. That, a great mistake in general, and um, but one that I could say, um, I mean, of course, everybody's dream, you know, everybody's dream is the Kentucky Derby. Everybody wants to make it to the Derby, to the big races, of course. Uh, so definitely the Derby, the Derby would be that's the top one. The Me a Beaters Cup race, we Beaters Cup race would be nice too. For sure, but the Derby, you know, that's that. That's that one. Everybody wants that one. And then just one last follow-up to that. What about in New York? What's the race that you would want to win in New York? I mean, I, I've heard some people say the Travers, and at the same time, others have said, you know, it, it's it's more about, like, the Wood Memorial or the Cigar or the Whitney, something that's a little different. It's not the biggest race, but it has some meaning to them. <sighs> it's something here. Uh... Hmm. I... <laughs> If I had to pick one at each track in New York, I'd, I'd want to win up in Saratoga, the Travers, for sure. And Aqueduct, I'd want to win 
to Gotham. I, I want to win the Gotham, you know. It would be cool win the Gotham, you know. It, there's always, you know, they got the big, big ones too, but you know, yeah, the Gotham would be nice. And then Belmont, you know, I, I Belmont, the Belmont Stakes, honestly. Mm-hmm. That's, that, that's, that's for real one. That's that one too. Well, and a half. You have an amazing start to your career. Congratulations on the Apprentice Award. It is it's your career is just getting going, and you're holding your own in the toughest jockey colony in the entire country no. by far. There's nothing close to this right now, and you're absolutely killing it. I appreciate your time today. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll be back next week with another five question FaceTime. Thank you.